Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here on Thanksgiving Day. Just want to fill you guys in on what we did today. And I think I'm going to be skipping my annual it's okay if you're not happy. I don't know. Maybe I'll say a little bit about that right now. I was famous for a posting every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas that uh, I knew there were a lot of people who weren't happy and, and holidays can be really hard for people. I know Derek did a video about this too uh, when he started recording videos. Was that two years ago? It's been a good day for me so far and all I need is good. I don't need phenomenal. <laughs> I like to keep things low-key and for a lot of people, especially in my family, holidays were stressful. Very stressful and um, I still feel like I suffocate a little bit when the holidays start coming around because I'm like, oh, we got to do this and do that. But I'm telling you, that has eased up a lot since I made a huge change in my life and I moved. And yeah, so today has been a nice day and it's going to continue to be nice, I think. So I just want to let you guys know what we did. First of all, Skylar is with her mother this year for Thanksgiving, so Derek was alone. Derek and I haven't done stuff together because we both suffer from that with the holidays <laughs> because we both grew up in the same family. And so uh, he's spending the day in his studio. That's what he wanted to do. I said, do it. You're going to be kicked back and relaxed and, and uh, do what you like. I, um, of course, have Joe. But I don't want to be doing a big Thanksgiving meal. We did want to cook a turkey, but right now there's really like no room in my freezer still. And it is a lot of work to clean a whole turkey and freeze it. And I, you know, and I, I do love turkey, but my jam is beef. And so I don't want to be having too much turkey that I have to be forced to eat. <laughs> Even though Joe says he likes it. I don't know. I don't know how much he likes it. Is it going to be all left to me? So I'm just skipping, we're skipping the Thanksgiving turkey. But I told them we can get one later. It doesn't have to be today because we ended up being quite busy today. So I'm glad we're not stuck here cooking. So here's what we did. We got up and we went to an AA meeting that started at noon somewhere. I can't even really tell you where I, I was. <laughs> north from where I am and it's a meeting that I hadn't been to yet and they were going to be having Thanksgiving buffet after the meeting so I said that's perfect but I was smart enough to eat meat before leaving because I knew I'd be hungry and I wasn't sure if there would be many or any carnivore options for me so we went to the meeting and I'm going to talk about the meeting in a minute. Uh, it was one of my favorite meetings so far that we have gone to. And the buffet, Joe had plenty of options. I had uh, just deviled eggs, which isn't optimal because there's mayo in the yolk and whatever. But I took two halves, so and one total egg. And the only meat option was ham. And I could tell that it was a spiral ham. I know there could have been a little bit of sugar in there, but I took some ham. So I had ham and deviled egg and water. That was my meal. I was happy as shit to have that. <laughs> that was all I needed. And Joe filled his plate, and then he had some banana pudding after that. I, I skipped dessert. My dessert uh, was some bacon when I got home. Now we're home. I'm doing this. But we're going out again. Joe yesterday asked me if I would have liked to go see Lights in Collierville last night. And we were going to be watching something. I can't remember. And I said, how about we do it Thanksgiving night? Because that would be great to go out for Thanksgiving evening and ride around and look at Lights at Collierville and wherever else we feel like going. And he said, yes, we'll do that. So now he would like to go to another AA meeting in Collierville and then see the lights and then come home. And I said, absolutely, whatever you want to do. He loves going to meetings. It's like 
you know, friends and family. It's like family to him. And I am always willing to go with him, especially if it's something more festive with a lot of people. I'm not so much into just the meetings where we go and there might be just, you know, a few people there and they're going through the big book or whatever. That stuff doesn't interest me. I like it when there's people and there's um, the opportunity for different people to speak because I like to hear the stories. Now, sometimes those stories are um, ha have to do with a lot of, like, drinking stories. Years ago, when I went to AA with my husband because he was being forced to go by an employer, um, I didn't like listening to the drinking stories that made me want to drink, but it's, that's a long time ago, and I'm okay with that. But today people spoke, and it was just so interesting. Now again, I don't go there because I feel like I need AA for drinking, uh, to, you know, to stay sober, because I've been sober for a long time, and, it, you know, it's really not my thing. I would not be going at all and would not continue to go if I didn't have Joe. I, it's just not my thing in that way. But with Joe, it's my thing. I, I like it. I'm comfortable because I'm with him, so I'm not like, you know, just walking in some place and not knowing anyone or whatever. He knows people at any AA meeting that he will go to, you know, because he's been to so many over the past 27 years that he's been sober. And so I enjoy it. And today people talked, and it was just so interesting. And I'm learning about life as a sober person, which I really hadn't put too much thought into because even though I was sober for a long time, I was still taking care of my mother and still in a toxic uh, relationship with her and I wasn't going out. I, I didn't have friends by choice. I just, I was just a hermit. I was 338 probably plus pounds. That's just the highest I ever saw. And, you know, my life was a hot mess. And I just didn't work on me as a person because I was just happy to be sober. Then when I became carnivore, I started to have interest in life. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for the fact that I have been carnivore for seven years now, just uh, November 17, today is November, I don't know, 23, I think. Yeah, this is 2023, if you're watching in the future. If I had not been carnivore for the first, uh, like, five years leading up to when I moved, I don't think I would have ever cared to even move. But carnivore made me change in so many ways, helped me to all of a sudden start losing weight without really trying at all. Uh, joint pain went away. Um, my depression went away. So... It's like I started to feel better, but I still didn't know really how to feel better because I was so used to a toxic environment. Um, then when my mother died uh, a year and a half ago, I it took a bit to figure out how to live without toxicity. I know that sounds weird, but it was a struggle for me. And then I started to really come out of my shell and... And I ended up meeting Joe uh, two months ago. Uh, no, I think we're going on three months. The end of this month will be three months ago. And he really has changed my life in a big way, too, because he is, you know, clean and sober. And he, uh, well, lives with me now. <laughs> we just moved fast, right? And... He added a dog to my life. He brought a washer and dryer with him. <laughs> so, there's a lot better ways that he has, you know, helped me in my life. But one of the things is he is very um, aware, self-aware, and willing to work on things and willing to explain to me uh, maybe how I could work on things. And, you know, one of the things that he did say about AA is it can help us in many ways. It doesn't have to be just about the drinking. So today's meeting, it was, uh, I don't know how many people spoke. I would say at least, I don't know, six or seven, maybe a little bit more. And 
I could relate to everything they were saying. It was so cool. Then at one point, I hear Joe say, Hi, I'm Joe, I'm an alcoholic, and he was going to talk, and at first I was like, what the fuck? But I have heard him speak before, but uh, I was just shocked, and he even brought me into the, to the topic, and I was like, at first I felt like the spotlight is on us, and, and it was. <laughs> and, but then I was so proud of him, and just, I, I admired him so much, he is so good at just speaking from his heart and it just flows. It just flows freely and I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that uh, how he gets the courage to talk like that. I mean, I, I'm not there. I'm not there. And I think I will always be more of one who's there to listen and not to speak. I did speak once, and I know I went overboard, because I'm so nervous when it comes to speaking, but I don't remember if I was called on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why. Oh, it's, I think, um, they just asked, or something, I don't remember. They always ask if it's anybody's, like, first meeting ever, is it anybody's first meeting there, and uh, I've learned to just, I, I don't raise my hand. <laughs> so. But it was just really nice. I really enjoyed it. Before we even left, I took Rocket for his walk. And now I'm hoping I have time to edit and take him for another walk. We will be taking him for the light show. But gee, if we're going to another AA meeting, I don't want him in the car that long. So I don't know. It'll be up to Joe what he wants us to do with Rocket. But I would like him in case we get out and walk around uh, this little quaint town of Collierville. That would be cool to have Rocket. I don't know what else I wanted to tell you guys. I don't know if Joe feels like popping in. I could ask him if he wants to come in for a minute and say hi to you guys. Uh, he will be doing that more eventually. Uh, I gotta tell you, he does, he does like to read the comments. <laughs> He loves it when everybody mentions Rocket. That's his baby. And I think he kind of misses people calling him Blue Eyes. It was sad in the way to actually say his actual name because I was afraid people would stop calling him Blue Eyes, and a lot of people have. But <laughs> sometimes somebody will say it. So um, let me see if he wants to come in. He's going to come in, but he just took a shower, so he has to get dressed. I'm glad that he didn't just decide to walk in like that. I'm going to see if I can put a chair next to me, and we'll sit here together. He's still getting dressed. What's with the hump right there? This way. I don't understand. I don't get it. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> I was telling them that we're going out tonight. <coughs> yes. Now we have to decide if we take in Rocket, if we're going to a we meeting. Are. Even if we're going to a meeting? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I want to walk. Um, we're going to stop and walk around the town? Yeah. All right. Joe said he's been to this place in Collierville. Uh, I explained what we did today. I explained that we're going out tonight. And then what was the other thing? Oh, we can't go to Walmart because it's closed. They're closed. He thought they were open. But I, I thought they were open for a little while. But... They're closed. Go get Rocket. Oh, we, let, we don't have to go get him. Rocket! Come here, Rocket! Come here! Rocket! Rocket's Please taking his sweet old time. Oh, yeah, I, I heard, too. Come here, baby. Come and sit on Daddy. Come here. Come here. Look. It's hard for him to... Oh, uh, who did he sit on? Who who did he sit on first? <laughs> I couldn't get him Daddy to laugh. Okay, let's see. Oh, boy. Yes, Rocket is very well loved. And I think we've kind of decided that, that we might be getting Rocket a, a post office box because I would like to be involved with something and um, there is an animal shelter here. I asked Derek, he said it is, it's open and uh, it, it's new. It didn't exist when I moved here, but it exists now. So we're gonna try to figure out a way to uh, be able to make donations to the animal shelter in honor of Rocket here. I think he might be able to pull a little bit of, um, of donations in and we'll let you know when we get that started. 
It'll be fun, won't it? It'll be fun, huh? Oh, and you guys, look, I'm able to wear my my longer sleeve shirt. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> You're crazy. How you doing then? Okay. <laughs> You're patting the dog, okay? Right here. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, what was I saying? I'm completely lost. Oh, yeah, shirts. You don't know how good it feels to be able to go get shirts. You, you you always say D don't no bark no bark. Speak. You can't speak. Can. No, only if somebody's outside making noise. He knows what it means. Anyway, I'm able to go in the closet now and get some of my uh, fall shirts, and and they fit now. And Joe liked this one. I tried on like three or four today. Mm -hmm. He's like that one. I want that one. So I was like, okay. All right, sweetie pie, I guess we should quit, right? Because we want to go out and we're going to take you. We're going to take you to go see some lights and stuff. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I will be back to the sewing, the quilting. I am going to be working on that. It's just been really busy the past couple of days. So subscribe, and you won't miss anything. Bye.